everyone thank you so much for tuning in today I will be showing you all the plants that were in LECA but were struggling they started to rot I lost a few leaves some leaves were yellowing so I have them in water to recover hopefully grow new water roots or just roots and I am planning to put most of these back into LECA but I do have a couple that will probably be going into soil because I think they would be living their best life in soil. Their roots either grow too fast or I just don't see Leka working out for them anymore. So I will be going through all of them with you. This is my Synthapsis Exotica. You can still see a little bit of black dots here and there. I did chop down quite a bit. I put it into LECA and it was okay. It gave me a few new leaves, but the leaves also started getting crispy at the tips and it just really didn't do much. Every time I would check up on it, I could smell rot and I just... This one will probably be going into soil. I think that it will be it will be happier in soil. So that's the deal with this one. This is my Monstera Celtipicana. I actually just did a video on this one. It was really happy in Lekka, but as soon as I added that moss pole, it just started rotting immediately. There's still quite a bit of rot on it. I have since then chopped it back. Um, but we do still have a few yellow leaves. I did lose about four or five leaves altogether. So I'm hoping that this one require, uh, recovers nicely. So that way I can put it back into Leka. I don't want this one in soil, but we'll just have to wait and see how it recovers. This one, oh boy, what can I say about this one? This one is supposed to be a Hoya Sunrise. I bought this mini Leka that just sucked and it pretty much killed my plant. So now I'm hoping that the last little bit of the root that it has does something. I put it into sphagnum moss to hopefully bring it back to life but I don't have high hopes for it. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. This is my Ficus Elastica. So this one was actually thriving in Leka, but it got too big for its pot and I didn't have a bigger net pot to put her in. So I just stuck her in a pot with no draining holes and just put a reservoir with I just I screwed up really and it started rotting immediately so I just chopped off all the roots put it in water and this one will be going into soil I think it will be happier in soil and I'm probably just gonna toss it outside and let her live her best life out there this is a cutting of the same plant I saw someone on YouTube grow root from a leaf so I just stuck it into perlite and hope for the best. I'm probably just going to stick it in soil and see what happens. So this philodendron micans is not actually struggling. I did bring it home and it was potted in soil. So I took off as much soil as possible, stuck it into water to allow the roots to grow water roots so that way it gives it a best a better chance at thriving in Leka. at least that's the way i do it but as you can see it looks like it's growing water roots i don't think we're going to have an issue with this plant so i don't think the camera is picking it up quite well but you can see the white little tips at the end of the roots and those are water roots it seems pretty happy um, it looks a little busted. That's how I got it from the nursery, but it has grown 
three new beautiful leaves well it's grown more but these are the more, more prominent ones and they're just absolutely stunning i love the texture it seems to be happy and i cannot wait to see it live its best life in leka okay so this is not a struggling plant but this is my syngonium elbow i got a cutting of it the cutting was in soil washed it off and it was barely rooted just a little bit i thought it was fully rooted but i was fooled <laughs> so it is growing a tiny little leaf so i'm hoping that it acclimates well it grows roots fairly quickly so that way I can put it into LECA and just start that process already. I do have another Sangonium that's growing quite quickly in LECA so I'm just hoping the same for this one. So these are just a bunch of cuttings of my Marble Queen pothos and I stuck it in here for a friend that she killed her plant in soil and I told her hey just, just get one in water and she's gonna live happily there and she is growing new little baby leaves so I just wanted to show that this one is growing super happy in water and here I'm just going to rearrange my plants to the order that I had them thank you guys so much for sticking to the end i appreciate you so much and i will see you on the next one bye